Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 5th of July after having a day and a half off the markets. Um, this is our membership area for the Wave 5 trade for trading that fifth wave of the Elliott Wave sequence uh, for stocks scanners. In our membership area, our members get the options every day to download spreadsheets with our scan results for potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame and potential short fifth wave trades on those same time frames plus also intraday stochastic longs and stochastic shorts. So let's have a look at the long trades for today. Futures seem pretty positive uh, early in the European session. So very, very simple in our members area. Every single day our members click on the image and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today looks something like this. This is for the daily time frame. Obviously at the bottom, if you can see, we've got the options for the weekly and the 60 minute. Today I'm going to concentrate on the daily time frame. I started from the bottom up and I'm looking at XPD, potential long on the daily time frame. So let's have a look at the chart. This is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim trading platform. We also have it available for multi charts. TradeStation and NinjaTrader NT8. For those members that have our indicator suite, I've isolated the low for this particular trend down here at this little red doji here, okay, on the 9th of uh, February. We just zoom out a little bit there just to show you. Um, we, we were pretty rangy during this period, but we did have a nice impulse leg up on the wave two. Yes, it was a little rangy, but we had the bullish bias, and then we've had the big move up on the wave three. Now we've had that wave four pullback, and that's what we're interested in. And that's what some of the filters are on our scanners membership here. So let's just go through those three main filters uh, before we set this up. So the first filter is that we've had a wave four pullback, a profit taking pullback against that main bullish trend here. And it's found support in our green probability zone. So these are automated on our indicator suite. And if it does find support in this zone, there's an 85% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone up here, around about uh, $80.30, something like that, into our target zone there. So looking very, very good there. Um, also, the next filter we have is that the stochastics crossed over. If you look down below here, the stochastic has crossed over in the oversold zone against our false breakout bar here. So this false breakout bar denotes a very strong bullish move. And when the stochastic pulls back against there, then the likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend and get on that fifth wave. So that's another good sign. And then thirdly, our 535 oscillator up here has pulled back between 90 and 140%. You can see now it's crowned. It's very, very nice between those two. So stars are starting to align for this. We did have a big bearish day uh, or half a day on Tuesday, um, but we still need that support to hold. So if we don't make that new wave for low and we start to move higher, we should look to get a quite, a, quite an aggressive entry. The entry strategy we use, we use our special 6-4 moving average high, this green moving average high. The low, the red is for shorts, the green is for longs. So we're looking to go outside of that 6-4 moving average high uh, today. 74.28 is the entry, which is above all of these highs as well. So when we, we've had the gap down and then we've consolidated this level, we've attempted to come out around about the $74 level. Uh, so we're way above that and we're outside of the six or moving average high. So the entry 74.28 and stop loss is always below the wave four here. So around about 71.28, I think I've put the, the, uh, the stop loss off. And then target around about 80.30, in the middle of our target zone there, that's a great risk reward of one to two for that potential long swing trade on EXPD on the daily time frame. So again, just to remind you, this is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim version from wave5trade.com. I'm using the scanner membership results, just one of those hundreds of potential fifth wave trades on multiple time frames every day just to set it up, just to show you how that uh, scanner membership works, how 
um, the sort of trades that we can look for and then obviously set it up on the think or swim version of our indicator suite. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.